everyone, it's me, Annie and Dracaris on the Code and Bird channel and today we're gonna speak about regular expressions and captured groups and name capture groups. Um, unfortunately, Dracaris is not in the mood today, she doesn't want to come to my desk, but she's sitting right there on top of her cage and looking at me. So you will probably hear her or maybe if she decided to come, you will see her. So let's start. What is regular expressions? Uh, regular expressions or regexps, it's a um, kind of pattern that we use for searching a string in a text. Uh, these patterns look scary sometimes. Uh, they can be very long and very complicated, like this or this. But you shouldn't worry about it because there are many tools online that can help you with it, can help you to read them, to test them, to understand them and even visualize them if you want. So I will uh, leave some links to these tools in the description of the video and if you want you can go and check it out. So what we're gonna do today, uh, we will take a look at one simple example of regular expression, we will try to find the date of certain format in the string. So let's start. This is our string that we will use for um, searching a date in this format. Let's write our regular expression first. Usually regular expressions uh, start with a slash and this means we want to get a digit, two of them, then slash, then again two digits and then again slash and four digits. And we will use it globally. So that's our regular expression. How to use it with a string? We will use um, we will assign a variable and we will call a method on our regex. This method accepts a string that we want to parse that we want to search in. In our case, it will be date. So let's see what returned from this call. Uh, this method returned an array, and the first value of array is the entire string that matches this pattern. You can see it's our date. Second argument, second value, uh, it's an index. It's an index of this symbol, the first symbol of matching string. Here it says just entire input and about groups we will speak about, uh, a little bit later. So what's next? Uh, what if we don't want just to find the string? What if we want to get day, month and a year? Uh, here where um, that's a case where our captured groups can be useful. Captured groups, it's um, a feature of regular expressions that allows us to tell that we want to extract some parts of the regular expression and use them in our code. The syntax is very simple, you just add the parentheses and you see as I added them, uh, we got some more values in our array, just right after the entire match, matched string we got a day, month, and a year. And now we can just use a array destructuring syntax to get day, month, and a year. And we can just use it everywhere in our code. That's uh, quite handy, isn't it? But you know, as I said before, uh, regular expressions can be quite long and complicated. And to improve uh, the readability, to make code a bit more 
clean uh, we can use a new feature of JavaScript uh, named captured groups uh, I will show how it works here in the beginning of our capture group just after the first parenthesis we add a name the question mark and a name and I will make it here a result again just to show you that when we added a name here uh, in the groups property we have a name as well we have a day so let's add names to other groups this is month and this is a year Yeah, so now you can use it even easier. You just do this and you use all these property properties. So quite nice, clean and easy to read. Um, but you should make sure um, So what else we can do with the named capture groups? Uh, we can not just find them, not just extract the values of them, but we could also reformat our string to change the date to make it look different. Uh, let's see how to do it. We will use a string method replace. Uh, so we take, we create a new date string and we will use the old one and replace our first we find what we want to replace using our regular expression and it will be the first argument and the second argument is how we want it to look now it should be a string and from this string we can refer to our named capture groups we refer like this just using dollar sign and angle brackets again so we say let's say we want it to be first month not a day and then slash and then day and then slash here this is another brackets uh, and let's see what we have now yeah we successfully replaced the string but i think we could do it even more readable for humans to we could just replace a month uh, the digit representation of a month with a text let's try it and we will use a callback for it this uh, the argument of this callback will be the same as what we saw in the result array so first it will be the entire match then it will be first group second group third group offset uh, input and then we have our groups and in our groups we need day month and the year okay so what do we do now we just return return a string and we return how we want it to be first we want to have a day with a postfix of and here we want to have a text representation of a month let's just do it simple keep it easy and make a, make a small dictionary where every digital representation will match a uh, text January February of course you don't do this in real life project because you would just uh, use uh, some library like moment.js or uh, built-in date 
uh, JavaScript object just to convert the entire date in the format that you want to see but I will show it just for example just like uh, to see how it works so here we use our dictionary to get a uh, month and a year So now we have this simple and nice string that looks much better than the initial one. Um, quite simple and clear. But uh, named captured groups have um, one trade-off. If you want to use them with older browsers, you have to include polyfill or use some special library for reg regular expressions. Um, because this feature were, was introduced in I think in ECMAScript 2018 so if you go to the can I use website and search for it you can see that uh, old browsers they do not support it at all and to be to make it work in all browsers you have to include uh, if you use Babel you can just use CorpGS polyfill but make sure that you use the latest version or one of latest versions because in the old ones um, it doesn't work with uh, regular expressions created in runtime what does it mean? it means that if you have this as a string for example you get it from database you don't know which exactly uh, pattern you will use, you fetch it, you get the string and then you create it with a constructor and yeah we should just do this double slashes yeah so if you want to do something like this you need the latest polyfill to make sure it works in runtime as well that's it um thank you very much for watching my video if you like it if you think it was useful for you please hit the uh, like button and subscribe on our channel bye bye